touchgaming.org's video podcast series. Today we'll be reviewing LineWriter, which is a paid application available for the iPod Touch and iPhone through the application store. This game is based off the popular PC version, which is free and available in a paid version as well, which is with expanded features. The idea behind the game is that you create tracks for line writer who will ride your lines that you create through the world. So there are many tools available here. There's a pencil tool with three different types of tracks. There's the regular slope which it just rides with no adverse effects. There's also the acceleration track which makes him go faster. And there's also a scenery track which does nothing. He does not collide with that. So you can just draw wherever and make nice sceneries. Maybe a hill, a sun whatever. There's also this magnet feature which makes it so that the lines snap together when you draw them so they'll connect when you, where you cut off. In this case the magnet is off so it does not connect. As you can see they're connected. There's also a line feature which lets you draw straight lines out of any slope you want. There's also an eraser feature which is nice because you can erase all colors at once or you can pick which type of track you want to erase. It's also an undo feature, which weirdly enough does not affect the eraser, which I find kind of annoying. It's also the zoom feature, which lets you zoom in or out. It's also the grab feature, which lets you move your screen so you can view your track as it gets bigger. This is the play feature, which lets you see what happens to your line rider and actually puts him into the world. And so as you can see here, he rides across, and then he never stops. So the play continues until you want to stop it. There's also a slow motion feature which slows it down so you can see how your track works out if you're trying to figure out how to make them land correctly. And there's also a flag feature which makes it so when you play you'll start at the flag. You can erase the flag using this feature. And you can also place the flag. This is the options menu which lets you save and load games. There's also an actual options tab which lets you pick draw and pan And there's also an invert menus feature which switches the menus. There's a night ride feature which makes the screen black and the line rider white. As you can see here. So it provides an interesting twist if you're getting tired of the normal interface. You can also select the gravity tilt feature which lets you actually tilt your screen as the line rider rides. So you can adjust how it goes. As you can see here, it'll fall off the track completely if you flip it. You can spin it around again as he goes. It's quite interesting, but it doesn't make for making very good tracks unless you actually want to drive your line rider. There's also the share feature, which lets you create an account and you can share your tracks with other line rider users. This game is quite interesting and it, it is worth the small price of $3, which is which is what it's on for the App Store currently, $2.99. And it's a lot of fun because you can make intricate tracks and you can explore how he lands you can try to make better tracks along with scenery. If you look on YouTube or through the track share, you can see many tracks people have created which look actually spectacular. But I can't do that. I'm nowhere near as good. As you can see here, it's quite a fully featured game and it's limitless. So you can save your tracks. Just go to save. You can pick, pick a name. And just save it. Well, I guess there's a limit to how long it can be. But anyways, you can also load them later. And there's this shift feature which, which lets you have alternate functions. So let's say you're writing. And there you go. It'll zoom in for you. In different cases, it'll do different things. There's also a help button which displays help for all the tools. It's quite fully featured and it explains to you how to use it. You can also flip the side of the pencil side of the collision by just double tapping the icon and that makes it so that the line rider will collide with only the side you select. The black side is the one he collides with and the colored side is the one that he does not collide with. So if the line rider were to jump through here he would not hit it because the colliding side is on the other side. Well that concludes our review of line rider which is quite a nice game and it's very interesting however it doesn't actually offer much to the user who does not like sandbox type games. You don't have any objectives in this game. It's merely to create a, a ride that you seem you, you are interested in. 
there are no objectives you, there is no set goal so you can just create any maps you want download maps you want you can watch line right and go and you can even control them if you have gravity tilt on which is quite fun as you can see there it kind of went crazy because we put some extra tracks there but anyways thanks for watching please visit touchgaming.org for more video reviews as well as subscribing to our youtube channel for more videos thank you